dear students uh, welcome back to my english class of grade 9 uh, today uh, we have unit 9 exercise uh, that we are going to discuss here uh, so without any delay so let's start the exercise uh, students we have exercise a here read the meanings uh, given on the left and match them with the words on the right you just need to match the okay a uh, left okay you have to match the words with the meaning with their meaning so here are some uh, meanings are given you just need to match their with their match the words with their meaning the first one we have a thing that is accepted as true Yes, the thing which is uh, accepted as true, the answer uh, would be, should be what? Uh, here is the answer you have. You can write the answer here. You can match the answer. So it should be assumption. So assumption is the right answer. Second one, the cost required for something. Yes, the cost, the money that we pay, that is cost. Okay, the money we pay is the cost. So, what should be the right one? It's expensive. And third, we have the place where someone lives. Okay, the place or uh, where we uh, usually lives. Uh, that is the word here, residence. Okay, residence. Okay, sometimes we ask people, where is your residence? Yes. So this is the right word here. And next one, a task assigned uh, as a course of study. Yes, task, you know, task, a work, uh, that is assignment. And the arising interest, you know, arising interest means arousing interest, means stimulating, yes, stimulating. And the testing one's ability, it's challenging. The last one we have in a way that is enough in okay quantity that is called the adequately okay the enough or excess in quantity that is the adequate so, so this is all about your okay uh, matching and then we have uh, exercise B that is the question and answer so students uh, I'm not going to write here the answer but uh, we will find out the answer in the text okay from there you can write yourself in your own words so let's find out the question answer uh, what do students expect when they enter post secondary education yes so when this uh, when the students uh, enter the post secondary education and uh, what is their expectation so let's find out the answer so here we go now so we have question okay the answer of first question is here uh, when the students enter post secondary education okay from here to here you can write from here to uh, from here to up to uh, expecting the experience to be the same as the as the one they had while at the secondary school from here okay. so but this is the answer of question number one a so now move to the second one so here is second question how is college more expensive yes you have to uh, you know tell about the um, you know the expensive of uh, college and you know, college is more expensive rather than uh, the school so here we go now again uh, to find the answer yes uh, uh, I can see answer here the in the paragraph number second okay 
it's here from okay students you can write from here the college is more expensive than high school in addition to okay so while you know studying in college and they have to pay more uh, extra tuition fee and uh, rental uh, rental you know where they they live and uh, uh, this is all the you know uh, this is all um, worry about the residents also so living cost they have to pay everything each thing each and everything they have to pay so you can write the answer from here to okay from here so now move to the c number question uh, c number question we have uh, write three reasons yes you have to write the reasons why college work workload is more challenging yes so why college workload in the college workload is more challenging so now move to the question again so where is the question students uh, i think question is here in paragraph number third of uh, you can write from here So you have to mention three reasons okay the first reason you can write the college students are faced with the task having to complete more assignment this is question maybe the first reason is that and second we have uh, uh, so these assignment we have to complete in time also so this is the second reason here and what is the third one uh the uh, here okay so third one that they have uh, they have extra pressure okay because of their final grade grade as based on each assignment so these are the some reasons uh, uh, okay of uh, having more challenging while studying in college uh, you can write from here so it is the answer of c number now move to the next one so next one we have uh, what uh, uh, d number what athletic you know athletic uh, you know sports it's a kind of sports challenging do college students face yes what what athletic you know challenges do college students face Ah uh, yes, uh, here is the answer. I can see. Uh, from okay. Yes, students. Uh, here uh, we have an answer of this question. The students have to participate in more sports and club activities. Okay, so then uh, rather than in school. this is what they have to uh, you know this is the athletic challenges so now move to the next one what should the students consider while entering the college yes what they should you know uh, consider when, when they have to enter the college so now we let's find out the answer again so we have the answer so students uh, here is the answer so overall in a call in the final paragraph college students is more costly and there are these are some you know things that they have to consider you know about the cost about the academic challenges okay these are some uh, challenges or um, consideration you can write from here okay up to here so this is the answer of uh, e number so this is all about your question and answer now move to the next one a 
as c number students we have in c number in some aspect you know uh, high school education might be more challenging than college uh, uh, education i think some of the challenge can share in the class yes you have to you have to you know uh, think about the challenges of you know uh, and then you have to you know uh, you have to share in the class this is the task work you have to do yourself and uh, now we have our next exercise that is the pronunciation so here is uh, pronunciation so with the help of your teacher or mobile phone learn the pronunciation of this college relative you just need to do practice pronouncing these words uh, first one we have okay academic okay uh, sorry academy it is academy and uh, similarly campus faculty you know lecture library graduation okay alumni scholarship okay dormitory semester freshman and tuition so these are some pronunciation words that we you have to do you know uh, practice of pronunciation so now we have very important one next one that is grammar part very very important the find adjective in reading text and write their comparative and superlative forms in the table given below so students uh, as you know in adjective these are the degrees okay degrees of comparison or uh, so we have so students we have very important one grammar part 1 so here we are going to study about the degrees of adjective okay so we have three degrees adjective positive one comparative one and superlative the first one is called positive okay here you can see word large larger than largest second one we have comparative so whenever a comparative degree is used to compare between two things yes so while comparing so while comparing degree we always use then okay so one thing you must know students we always use the before the superlative degree the largest okay the expensive more, more the most expensive like this so Uh, here are some words that we i have selected from the text like small you know small is the positive degree then smaller if you have to compare between two things or uh, animals whatever then we use then okay smaller than then smallest small smallest small smaller smallest so similarly high higher highest okay Uh, next one is expensive more expensive and most expensive so there can be uh, more words also you have to find out and uh, write uh, about their degrees so here uh, we have uh, only this much so now move to the exercise the complete the following sentences with the comparative or superlative form of the adjective given in the box so students uh, i have already filled all the blanks here so anyway uh, let us discuss here again so first one i we have some words given here adjective all these are the adjective so i think uh, health is status than money yes so <coughs> here i have used the word adjective important the first a positive degree is important then more important than most important i have used the second one that is comparative okay so because i have to compare between health and the money so when we have to compare between two things we always use then so already then is used here i think the health is more important than money so this is you have to remember that uh, while comparing two things uh, we always use then second i cannot carry my bag it's heavier than 
yours okay it's heavier than yours again compare it's heavier than yours similarly i can afford to bus okay i can't i can afford to buy i can't i can afford to buy means i can pay money the car is okay i can afford to buy the most expensive car in the park car okay here i have bought the most superlative degrees okay this is superlative whenever we uh use superlative degrees before superlative we always use the okay the most expensive d you have uh, uh, you look dot dot then the last time i saw you have you okay so this is slim word here slim you look slimmer okay i have used second degree comparative again we here we are going to compare okay similar than the last time in the uh, e number i could not get a table uh, in the restaurant uh, it was dot dot then it usually again we have to use superlative uh, comparative degree again we have to compare okay so we will use more crowded okay more crowded than it usually is which is okay which is the data is highest peak in the world again i have used here superlative degree of high okay it is the superlative degree of high the highest peak g this is again do here again we have to use here superlative degree most exciting movie i have ever watched i really enjoyed it so students uh, you should know okay while we have to comparing two things we use comparative degree okay uh, we use then to compare uh, while we have to use uh, superlative degree before superlative we use the article do the next one so students next one we have h number that is your health is getting that is day by day you should see a doctor so in some uh, degrees you know there are some kind of degree which are completely changed like worse worse is the superlative uh, sorry comparative degree of you know uh, bad you know? bad is the positive degree bad worse and worst so here we have used the word okay degree that is comparative worse your get health is getting worse day by day so uh, there are some kind of degrees uh, students so we will have separate video about the adjective in detail when uh, when we study the grammar part so here worse is the comparative degree of bad you must know and uh, we have i number i don't understand this lesson it's a dot dot then the uh, last one we did okay so here again then okay so then then uh, we have to again compare so it is the harder we have used the word okay hard hard harder okay hardest so here the second comparative second degree that is comparative harder now finally we have this is dot dot task that i have ever done so again we have words challenging okay there are some you know kind of words like challenging okay and um, uh, exciting so with that we always use most and more and most okay so we have to make it comparative one so while making comparing we always use most so this is the most challenging task so as i already told you while we use uh, superlative degree before uh, superlative there is always uh, there the is always used before the superlative the most challenging okay the expensive the most expensive so uh, these are some exercise of you know grammar uh, very important one, important one grammar part uh, we have uh, done also Uh, question answer and uh, uh, words meaning so this is all about your uh, exercise students uh, today you know it's enough now because the video is going to be very lengthy here 
so in the next video i'll come with the uh, speaking and the writing part also uh, in detail so uh, so this is all about for today and uh, uh, i come to uh, an end of uh, this video today now and uh, i'll be back uh, uh, in the next video till then see you bye bye and